Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandra. In this video, I am going to discussing about what is the difference between string and string buffer classes. String and string buffer classes. When should we prefer string class and when should we prefer string buffer? Observe. The first difference. The first main difference is type of object or let me say like this state of object state of object string is immutable object string is immutable object that means the state of the string object is not changeable if you are trying to change then jvm will provide new memory with updated data but old memory with old data is not disturbed that is what exactly immutable already on top of this concept i given one video also will you please go through that what is the main difference between string and string buffer string is immutable string is immutable that means the data which is available in the string object never going to updated if you are trying to update it then jvm will provide the new memory with updated data but still old data nothing but old state is existed in the old memory itself in the coming videos around i am going to highlighting four videos related to only immutable how to define our own immutable classes the coming videos the coming four four videos i am only concentrate how to define our own immutable classes are objects okay next one string buffer string buffer is what here mutable that means the state of the object is going to change every time what happened the state of the object is always going to change nothing but if you are trying to update the content of the string buffer then the content will be updated within the existing memory only jvm is not providing any new memory with the updated content next one synchronized it is not synchronized it is not a synchronized not a synchronized means it is synchronized let me write like it is it is not a synchronized this is what is synchronized that means what is synchronized especially this is a huge concept i am going to highlighting in coming videos uh, related to multi threading but let me give a quick review synchronized means if on top of the any one object if multiple threads are trying to operate then at a time only one thread will be executing remaining threads will be in the wait mode after completion of the first thread second thread will coming into the memory for example i have one uh, string object i have one string object or i have one object on top of the one object 10 threads are going to working so among the 10 threads how many threads are going to executing at a time only one remaining nine threads in the wait mode among the nine threads again one more thread will be selected that one thread is going to operate that object remaining eight threads in the wait mode so at a time only one thread is going to execute one thread is going to use one thread is going to operate that thread object th uh, that object remaining threads in the wait mode that is called exactly synchronized but our string class is what not a synchronized that means multiple threads are executing at a time nothing but simultaneously whereas the string buffer string buffer is what here synchronized so that means at a time how many threads are going to execute only one thread so at a time only one thread is executing means what about the performance issue whatever the performance issue here performance is what high here performance is what here low why in the on top of the string multiple threads are going to executing at a time but on top of the string buffer how many threads here only one thread remaining threads in the wait mode that means for giving the response to the threads will take more time definitely response time is what here low now one more see guys string class basically 
let me give one more uh, difference yeah implements implements java dot lang dot comparable implements java dot lang dot comparable now here string immute string yes it is comparable it implements a comparable interface now this is no if it is an yes then what about the compare to method yes compare to method is existed in compare to method is existed in string class but where is in the string buffer no and one more difference is if you take capacity method we have capa we don't have capacity in a string object we don't have capacity method in string string object where we have in the string buffer now reverse reverse method is not available in the string but available in the string buffer okay these are the main main differences uh, between string buffer and string class if you take a concat concat is available in the string it is not available in the string buffer if you take append if you take append append is available in the uh, string buffer but not available in the string class so like this a lot of differences we have methods issue but we always talks about if you if you interviewer asking whenever interviewer asking like what are the difference between string and string buffer means mainly we need to talk about what here first three things first four things first four one is state of the object string state never be changeable string buffer state is going to change that means the content of the string is not changeable whereas content of the string buffer is going to change yes and the string is not a synchronized that means at a time multiple threads are going to execute the string class whereas the string buffer at a time single thread will be executing at a time single thread will be executing means uh, performance is what you are very very low in the string buffer whereas uh, high in the string class and string is implements we guys know that it is implements java dot i dot uh, um, serializable interface java dot lang dot comparable java dot lang dot char sequence but whereas string buffer whereas string buffer implements only serializable and char sequence but we don't we it is not implements what are comparable interfaces okay and also we have some of the differences some of the differences like uh, compared to compared to if it is not implements uh, if the string buffer is not implements comparable compared to method is not available and a capacity method is available in the buffer but not in the string as well as reverse method is available in the string buffer not in the string and concat method is available in the string but not available in the string buffer and append method is available in the string not available in the string and available in the various string buffer like this we have some other method differences also but mainly we need to focus on what here first four to five points these are the differences between string buffer and string class now what is the difference between string buffer and builder string buffer and builder now observe here string buffer and string builder now let me take let me take string builder string builder is also what here mutable like like a string buffer it is what here mutable nothing but the state of the builder always going to changes is it synchronized or not a synchronized not a synchronized that means at a time how many threads are going to executed multiple threads so is it performance or high low performance or high performance high performance only is it implements comparable or not no if it is not implements comparable then compare to method no itself now capacity method capacity method yes reverse method yes and concat method no and append method yes that means it is very much similar to string buffer except in one region except in two regions except in two regions what are those two regions one is synchronized and the other one is performance issue 
string buffer is synchronized object at a time only one thread is going to execute so performance is low string builder it is a not a synchronized multiple threads are going to execute a string buffer operator string buffer object automatically response time will be reduced nothing but within the last time we can able to get the response nothing but high performance okay now and one more uh, difference very normal difference uh, between string and string builder and string buffer is it had introduced in the 1.0 whereas the string buffer introduced in the 1.0 but the string builder is introduced in the 1.5 in the initial days of jdk up to jdk 1.4 java community people only uh, first thinking about uh, state and thinking about what you are synchronized but in the 1.5 they are they got some idea like why do you create why don't we create an object which is mutable with high performance string with what here immutable with high performance string buffer is what here mutable itself and the string builder is what here if you go for the string buffer mutable but uh, low performance but i required mutable with high performance then we should go for what here string builder the common difference between string and string buffer and builder is if you want immutable with high performance string mutable with high performance string builder mutable with low performance then we can go for string buffer so i hope you understand these differences between string and string buffer as well as a string builder for more videos please subscribe naresh it channel thank you